Many people tell me that when they're doing street photography and they have to get in close to subjects that they feel uncomfortable about this. They feel embarrassed or getting close to strangers or concerned that they're invading someone's privacy or they're stealing photos from somebody or they're causing a disturbance or they look like a fool. Yes, I'm uncomfortable with it a lot of times too. But I truly believe in what I'm doing and that what I am doing is a noble thing. That's what my plan is. My plan is to make photographs that entertain or educate or emotionally move in some way everyone who looks at the photograph. Like a visual poem, I'm trying to show ordinary life situations in a different way, in an exciting and unusual way that may reach people's hearts. This is always my goal, to lift up, to educate, to entertain, like I've mentioned. To emotionally move, to give somebody something, some life, some hope, through a camera, which requires us to look at society and look at our normal surroundings and pick out things that are happening, that we react to, and that we can photograph in a certain way to spread these visual poems to others. Now, if we all felt that way, about what we're doing in that manner, we'd feel good about ourselves, we wouldn't feel embarrassed. You have to equate yourself to different trades, to different things. For instance, the doctor, he feels very uncomfortable about it close to people. He goes out for a, he goes to look at some old person who's sick and dying, and he has to get in there and get very close and personal. He doesn't know this person, but he does it. He does it because he knows he has to. The doctor knows how important this treatment is, how important it is to get close. And he doesn't feel embarrassment because he knows he has to do it for the sake of the patient. The same way the photographer sees something happen, maybe it's of a photojournalistic nature, he knows it's an important situation. An important situation that is run through his psyche, through his brain, his emotions, and comes out through the camera because of the way he's adjusted the camera and pointed it at a certain spot, but not felt bad about what they were doing, feeling good about the prospect of this photograph meaning so much to people all over the world, that the slight 30-second discomfort you took while taking the photograph goes away after a while. You don't have to think about that because the picture came out so good. You're not invading privacy. You're not invading someone's life. You're not stealing the photographs from them, but maybe you are. And if you are doing it that way, that's not a good way for me to think about it. I want you to have fun. I want you to have purpose. I want you to feel important about what you're doing. I want you to get in there. And you see, the poet can do all this. The poet doesn't have the discomfort of having to get close to someone's lives. The poet is at his desk writing. But the object is the same, to produce a document that instills hope and passion in people that read it. And likewise, the photograph that does the same. The musician does the same, not feeling embarrassed, but doing good work and resolving in your brain that you are doing a noble thing, a happy, a wonderful thing. And with that realization, you knew that the people that you were around, the people that you, that you thought you were disturbing, if they knew what you were doing, they would hug you, they would love you for it. That you're trying to make sense out of all this. That you're trying to show people our lives, that they may learn about their lives. This is a noble and wonderful thing to do. So don't feel uncomfortable about it. Sure, you might feel embarrassed sometimes getting close to someone and bumping into someone, but you're a noble person. You're out only after good. And you can fulfill that by feeling comfortable with what you're doing. But just run it around in your brain for a while and figure it out. You'll see that I'm right. You are doing a beautiful thing. So don't feel bad about that. Feel joyous about it. And practice real hard so that you can get good at it and accurate at it. And help other people do the same thing. I mean, this is a wonderful thing that we do. This is a wonderful thing that you can do. And I don't want anything holding you back. I don't want you feeling bad about what you're doing. You have to feel good about what you're doing 
And you have to convince yourself that what I'm saying is true. And if you do that, you're going to have fun. You're going to make great photographs. And you'll thank me. But think about it. Do the good thing. Do the right thing. And prove it to yourself that what you're doing is a noble thing.